the S30 thermostat insulation. Determine the best location for the thermostat installation. In the return airflow, usually a hallway. A single four wire cable installation is shown here, but if possible, we recommend two two wire cables being used. One of them, a two wire 18 gauge stat cable for voltage wiring, and the other, a two wire 18 gauge shield cable for the communication wiring. Check the arrow on the back plate to make sure you're installing in the proper orientation. Level the thermostat and mark the base plate insulation screw holes. Drill the base plate screw holes and install with the provided anchors. Mount the base plate, again checking the arrow to make sure it's pointed up. Install the base plate screws making sure not to over tighten them. Strip the end of the stat wire 3 8 of an inch and install the base terminal block for 12 volt positive, A, B, and 12 volt negative. If you prefer, use your own wiring colors or use Linux normal wiring colors, which would be red to 12 volt positive, yellow to I plus, white to I negative, and green to 12 volt negative. Put the access wiring back in the wall cavity. Seal the wiring hole with a permagum material to prevent temperature and humidity from affecting the humidity and temperature sensors. Next, mount the display and making sure the connection pins are aligned. Noting the up arrow, press on the display until you hear it snap in place. Be careful not to press too hard or you may break the display face glass. Then peel off the protective display cover. The display base and display are now installed. Find a suitably accessible location to mount the smart hub. Note, do not mount to equipment or ductwork. Mark the location for the top connection point and install using the provided mounting screws. Mount the smart hub and secure the bottom mounting screw. We'll now wire the smart hub starting with the wiring from the display to the smart hub positive, negative, A and B on the terminal strip. And then connecting the wires to the indoor unit, R, I positive, I negative, and C terminal block using the same color code that we used in the display base. If you have extra wires you need to bundle those together and connect them back to C on your indoor unit. Next, wiring at the indoor unit control board. Find terminal R, I positive, I negative, and C on the control board and connect the wire from the smart hub to the control board. Again using the same color code for wiring terminals as used on the smart hub. Then connect the wires to the outdoor unit's indoor terminal block, again using the color code for R, I positive, I negative, and C. Once we get to the dealer control center screen, activate the automated test mode and select test. After completion of all the tests, a pop-up will be shown that must be pushed to clear the test mode and go to the home screen. The installation process can normally be completed between 30 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the complexity of the system, for example, the addition of zoning. 